All right, so if we're gonna draw an eye, um, and you can, you can look up other videos on this. Um, there's a lot of good stuff on YouTube and stuff like that, but basically the one thing that you wanna keep in mind is that there's an eyeball under this, all this flesh. Okay, so when you're drawing the eye, you wanna start with that, that eyeball, okay? And, you know, include roughly the iris and the pupil in that, okay? Now, obviously we're not gonna have all this stuff showing, okay? Um, normally, the upper eyelid, all right, and lower eyelid will be coming very close, if not overlapping with the iris. So as we make the upper eyelid, all right, come down, turn, do a little bit of a curve, curve back, go back down, okay, and then come just below that iris, all right, and get that tear duct area in, all right, and then curve back up, and the upper eyelid overlaps the lower eyelid, okay, so that's a general shape that we're looking at. Um, as we go, once we got that in there, all right, we can kind of solidify, you know, where that iris is going to be, where that pupil is going to be, all right? And then the reason we want all this roundness here, okay, is A, so we can see where it's going to be getting darker in the corners and how it's going to be shaded, okay? But also as we add the lids, all right, we need to know where that eyeball is, all right, and get it to curve. So as we do the lip of the eyelid, all right, it doesn't need to be one full line, we just need to kind of show that that's there. As we're going up into the eyelid, all right, we wanna show creases in the eyelid that curve with that eye. All right, same thing with the lower eyelid, all right, creases that curve with the eye, okay. Um, in the corner, you know, if you look closely, you can see that pinkish flesh color, all right, that's in there. Um, obviously, you guys are going to be doing this in color, okay, so I'll show you roughly how the, how the lights and darks are going to break down, and that'll be basically your eye socket, okay, all right, so all this comes up here and then goes concave here and comes back up the edge of the nose, all right. Um, when you're looking at the iris, all right, and the eye, and the pupil, obviously the pupil is going to be dark, all right, everybody's light uh, reflection is going to be different, all right, there's a darker ring, regardless of the color of your eye, around the edge of the iris, and then if you look closely in the eye, there's actually, um, like, lines that you can see in the eye, so what I like to do is I'll start by laying those lines radiating out. Okay, and then I'll use those. So if this was color, all right, I'd be using my my darker shade at this point. All right, it's usually going to be darker on the edge and darker coming out from the iris. All right. Once you have those lines in there, you can take your lighter value and shade in small circular strokes around the eye. You know, be mindful of where, where you see highlights and stuff, okay? All right, now one of the things people tend to forget about when they're doing stuff like this is the fact that the eyelid is gonna block light. So you're going to get the area right above, or right below rather, the upper eyelid is going to be slightly darker, okay? And the eyeball itself, all right, it's going to be darker. You can imagine this whole thing being, you know, a sphere that's being lit here, all right? And it's lighter here, a little darker, a little darker, and it's going to be darker On those edges 
all right, being that it's front lit. So the same thing happens here. You're gonna have darks in here, all right, and the white of the eye is not gonna be just white. They're gonna have different shades. Now, if I'm doing this in color, I'm gonna have yellows in here, I'm gonna have some blues in here. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have some pinks, all right, but it's gonna be darker in the corners, darker under the eyelid. All right, so the white of the eye is not just white, okay? As I shade the eyelid, I apologize, I'm trying to go quick. I don't know how long of a video I can upload here, so. But again, it's gonna be darker in the recess. of the eye socket and it's going to get lighter and curve up All right, again darker in most cases depending on the light as it curves down and get a little lighter as it curves up and you can kind of get the idea right of how this whole thing's going to start to come together All right under here where your brow line is all right, that'll want to be in darker. All right, you can kind of touch your own eye and feel in there where there's a little bit of separation from the orbital bone and the actual eyeball. Okay. And you kind of just go from there. As far as things like eyelashes, okay, um, if I'm doing a male eye, most of the time I will kind of downplay. All right, shorter lashes, more to the outside of the eye, all right? Kind of make them a little more sparse on the inside, okay? If it's a female, I'll make it a little bit more pronounced in most cases. As far as the eyebrow itself, you know, if this was the general shape of the eyebrow, the hairs, all right? And I'm not gonna draw individual hairs, but the hairs are always gonna be arcing to the outside of the face, like that, all right? So, whether I'm doing hatching with it or whether I'm shading with you know, regular pencil techniques, my strokes, my, my hand is gonna always move in that direction to make it go out, okay? Um, and that's the, that's the gist of it. So for the homework, this is all we're really looking for, all right, is something roughly that, okay, but done in color. All right, if you guys have any questions or anything, you know, just shoot me a text, shoot me an email, and I'll try to help you out. All right, see ya.